without fail. Every time I've done a stream or shared a video of me building a site in Webflow that I first designed in Figma, I have people who ask me questions like this. Wait, why is she building it twice? Aren't you doing like double the work right now? Hey, why not just start in Webflow at the beginning? And this is not just happening in my YouTube comments. I've also seen stuff like this over on Twitter. So let me explain once and for all why I still value both of these tools and why I use them both in my process. First, let's talk about web design versus web development. So designing a website is the stage in which you figure out how to present the necessary content to a website visitor in order to achieve a certain goal. Maybe you're educating them on a product to convince them to try it. Maybe you're helping them find the article that they want to read next. But whatever it is, you're using design thinking and visual design skills to figure out the layout of the content and make it appealing and useful. Developing a website is when you put the code in place to make a functioning interactive page on the internet that works across browsers, across devices. When you develop a website, you're bringing a design to life online. It is possible to combine these things. You could be making design decisions about the structure of the content and what it looks like as you code it. But for me and for many other design professionals, the design process looks something more like this. I honestly don't know a single design professional who just instantly knows the best way to lay out a whole page. Someone who just puts all the pixels in place once, doesn't move things around, just creates one version and it's right, right from the beginning. That's just not how the design process works. That's not how any of this works. You have to have quite a lot of shitty ideas at the beginning and eventually you iterate your way into the option that you feel will best meet the goals of the page. Figma has been created especially to help with the design process and to make this process of iterating and improving on a design more efficient. In Figma, I can easily duplicate a design, make a change, compare the two or three or four, and then decide which one I wanna keep pushing forward with. Webflow, on the other hand, has been created to help with the development phase of a website. And although it's a no code tool, it is actually writing the code for you as you put things into place on the page. For some designers, it might work perfectly fine to do the whole iteration process in Webflow. I know when I talked to Johnny Gomez on the Webflow team in the first season of Inside Marketing Design, he mentioned that this is something that he does sometimes, but it's certainly not the way I work when designing a full page or a full site, and it's also not the way many designers prefer to work. I really like having this archive here in Figma of all of the different things I've tried, because sometimes I want to come back to a design a day later, I want to like sleep on it, and then the next day revisit an idea, or maybe the next day I think, what did that look like again? And it's all here for me to see. I like being able to do that direct visual comparison between options and the speed at which I can try things out in Figma far exceeds the speed at which I can build something in Webflow just to see what it looks like. And speed and efficiency is vital in the early phases of the design process in particular, so that you can get your ideas out on the screen as they come to you. Figma has been built to solve that problem for designers and Webflow wasn't. It solves an entirely different problem of helping designers build a real functioning website efficiently without having to write the code yourself. They are different tools built with different problems and solutions in mind. So that's how I use both Figma and Webflow in my process and why designing in Figma and then building in Webflow is not doing double the work because they are separate processes. So it's fair to use a different tool for each. I'm really curious for your thoughts on this because like I said, this is something that I'm asked about often. Do you use both of these tools? Do you ever jump straight into Webflow without designing first? Or are you like me and you need to iterate in Figma or another design tool before you start building? Remember as well that every designer is entitled to their own design process. There's no one correct answer here. So yeah, share your thoughts with me in the comments. And if you're not subscribed already, please do so because I share vlogs of my life as a designer on this channel, as well as live streams where you actually get to see me working on real projects in real time in both Figma and in Webflow. So hopefully you'll stick around and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.